The 2025 Cadillac XT6. We have some subtle new updates to talk about here, so let's get started. So there are three trim levels with the XT6. You have the base luxury trim level, then you have the premium luxury in the middle and the sport trim at the top. Well, if you go with either the premium luxury or that sport model and you get the platinum package for 2025, that platinum pack will now include super cruise and night vision and other than that the only other changes the price has gone up by four hundred dollars compared to the 2024 xt6 yeah these suvs they have not changed much ever since 2020 when these suvs initially came out we just saw very subtle updates and back in 2020 i did get an opportunity to review this suv and i'm not gonna lie i did like it the dynamics, the comfort, refinement, all of these things were just fine. I had no real qualms driving this SUV, but the design is just so lackluster and it lacks any sort of swagger for a Cadillac product. This straight up just looks like a mommy mobile. It almost has minivan vibes to it. And I get it, they're trying not to step on the Escalade's toes, but still, the XT6, and that XT5, both of these vehicles, they really have the senior citizen vibes going on. No swag. I actually like the little XT4 SUV the most. So with this brand, it's really either XT4 or full-blown Escalade for me. But regardless though, um, in this class of vehicle, I feel like many people would even look into the new Lincoln Aviator. The Aviator has some real presence. It has a royalness about it which this XT6 definitely does not have. But the Aviator, that's also a rear wheel drive platform, whereas the XT6, it's a front wheel drive platform. In fact, front wheel drive comes standard. If you want all wheel drive, you have to pay an additional $2,000 to upgrade to the all wheel drive. Something to keep in mind. And there's talks that these SUVs that are gonna get redesigned or refreshed for the 2026 model year but we'll see about that. Nothing has been confirmed by GM themselves. So these SUVs, they came out in 2020. In 2021, that's when they introduced the turbo four-cylinder engine as a new entry-level option. In 2022, the sport models, they now came equipped with the Brembo brakes and they offered us power folding mirrors as standard. In 2023, the premium luxury and the sport trims they got some sweet updates. They gave us navigation, heated rear seats, and heated and ventilated front seats, all as standard, along with some new colors. So 2023 was a good year. 2024, we essentially just got some new colors, and I already gave you all of the latest updates for 2025. Now, just some quick specs for you. Only the base model luxury trim level comes with the 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder. In front wheel drive, it'll get 21 city, 27 highway. With all wheel drive, the turbo four will get 21 city, 26 out of the highway. The mid-level premium luxury, which is what I recommend, and the top of the line sport, they're both gonna come with the naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6. You're gonna get 19 city, 26 highway with the front wheel drive or 18 city, 25 highway with the all wheel drive v6 keep in mind you do get a larger fuel tank when you go with all-wheel drive 22 gallons versus 19 gallons for the front wheel drive turbo 4 does produce 235 horsepower 258 pounds feet of torque and cadillac says that those figures are achieved with premium fuel with the 3.6 liter v6 it'll make 310 horses 271 pounds feet of torque they did not disclose what type of fuel to use in order to achieve those numbers. But all models, they're gonna come with the nine speed automatic transmission. Base models can come with 18 inch wheels. The premium Lux and the Sport come with either 20 inch wheels or 21s as an option. Overall, this SUV is about 198.5 inches long total. So under 200 inches should be able to fit in most garages. This is a three row SUV but the third row seats, they're pretty tight. But if you fold down those third row seats, you will get a ton of cargo capacity, which is excellent. 
even with the base model luxury you will get some decent features like a regular eight speaker bose audio system and a sunroof but it's when you step up to that premium luxury that's when you get the upgraded 14 speaker bose audio system along with a hands-free power lift gate and two-way power lumbar for the driver and you also get the na v6 engine which i do appreciate so i would go for the premium lux i mean even that model is going to come with a eight inch infotainment screen which is fine for me and you do get wireless apple carplay and wireless android auto interior space is nothing over the top it's just a nice clean simple interior layout once again i don't hate it but nothing about this suv screams exciting and in the description box below i'm going to have a free leasing calculator provided to you by auto companion this is a very powerful tool because it shows you the interest rate of a lease the residual values and the incentives that you can get in your local zip code and brands like cadillac i mean there are a million different incentives out there so make sure you go through this so you're not leaving any money on the table because incentives stack on top of the dealer discount and personally if i were to buy this i gotta get at least 10 percent off the msrp that's the bare minimum i would take in fact there was a dealership out in houston texas they're offering like 10 grand off the msrp depending on the trim level and that's really fantastic at at those discounts this xt6 it begins to definitely make more sense because it's not a bad vehicle it does drive decent good features good space especially when you fold down that third row you get a ton of trunk space so yeah it's a nice big practical hauler for those prices but keep in mind these substantial discounts they're going to apply to the 2024 model years because most dealerships they're going to want to blow out those 2024 model years and that makes sense and when i ran some numbers on a fifty-eight thousand dollar xt6 premium luxury with a 10 percent discount assuming you have perfect credit and you put no money down on the lease a three-year ten thousand mile lease is going to be like 780 bucks a month which is pretty awful but then again even if cadillac was blowing these things out at 400 to 500 bucks a month would the average consumer even know about it of course not no consumer knows about leasing and they certainly don't know about these calculators and part of the reason why these payments are so high is because the residual values are pretty awful at 55 percent and the interest rate of the lease it's almost five percent that's not great but on Cadillac's website, even their promotional finance deal is pretty awful. It's 3.9% for 36 months. That's pretty trash. For 36 months, you got to give me like 0% financing or at least 1%. But I mean, I don't know. They kind of sell. Cadillac sells about 20,000 of these a year, which is surprising. I almost never see these out on the road. But they sell about 40,000 Escalades. Yeah, that's really the vehicle that most people want. Regardless though, I mean, if you want this, I mean, you get a $60,000 vehicle for 50 grand and you pay it off early, not the worst thing in the world. 50 grand is like BMW X3 money or Audi Q5 money, something along those lines. So granted, you can get discounts on X3s and Q5s as well, but this X-T6 is a pretty large vehicle, but that's just one dealership out in Houston, Texas. I don't know about other dealerships around the country, if they're going to be able to give you such a high discount on this invoice to msrp for an xt6 it's about twenty eight hundred dollars so they're taking a substantial loss to sell you this vehicle at this price i don't know of too many dealerships that would take that type of a hit on their profit margin to sell you this vehicle so i don't know it's worth asking for it regardless i just wanted to share with you this knowledge this information and these resources if you appreciated this content make sure to like and subscribe Thank you again for watching, take care, and goodbye.